It is my pleasure to tell you about the miraculous signs and wonders that the Most High God has performed for me. Daniel 4, 2. Greetings and salutations, Life and Poetry fam. Welcome back to the channel with your boy, your host, the one and only, Marcus T, this guy. And we are back with another Slow Walk to 30 video. Life and Poetry fam, um, to be honest, this is my second take at shooting and recording this video here. Um, I had a, a misstep in the first one there, and I didn't want to go back to edit it. I just said, you know, I'm going to scrap it and start over, right? I can do that. I can do that. I can just start over. Um, and it's because I wanted to get this out, you know, as clear and concise as possible. Um, because this message, the message that's on today for this video means a lot to me. It, it really resonates to me in a special way. Um, but if you don't know what these videos are, the Soul Walk to 30 videos are comp comprised of 12 videos. One video a month um, up until my 20, up to my 30th birthday. Um, as, as we go back to reflect on the things as we move through my, my the, the, the age range from my 20s. On up, uh, you know, 20, 20, 21, so on and so forth, as we as we approach the 30th birthday, which is in July. Um, and these videos are comprised of things that I've gained, picked up, uh, lost, uh, put down, whatever it may be along the way, um, tools, whatever it was that 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 moves me or or helped me, uh, propelled or repelled me in any way. I want to come back and share those with you because that's that's the journey of that's the journey to 30 for me. Um, this journey has been a lot. It's been roller coasters, up and downs, left and rights, all over the place, right? Um, so I want to give this message to you guys today. Um, but before we get started, any of that, guys, I need you guys to do me a huge favor and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, once you've done that, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we hear Life and Poetry drop a new video. And remember, guys, that I say we because you never know who's going to pop us and grace us with their presence here on the channel. Some old faces, some new faces, you just never know. Hit that bell, you'll find out, right? But yeah, so this video here, it's, it's a special message for me. Um, and and as, you saw, as you saw the opening clip, it was uh, I was reading a scripture from the book of David. Um, the scripture was David 4 and 2. Um, and it speaks, it, it speaks on how, uh, you know, it, it speaks on... Uh, uh, and, and my interpretation is it speaks on uh, going to uh, someone is going to tell somebody about what God has done for them, right? Amen. Um, and I'm gonna say somebody. If you guys read the you read the book of David, you guys know what somebody is who's in the book here. But this time I'm, I'm replacing myself with the person that's there. Um, amen. So uh, it, it spoke to me because um, as you guys know. That this particular scripture, many other ones speak on this one. This one was kind of pinpoint here because you guys know my 20s were rocky. My 20s is when I found that I was sick. Um, I was diagnosed with HIV. I had to go through the process with hospitalizations, um, all the losing grandparents, losing all these things here, uh, uh, having to leave school. All, all these things were happening here. It just was a rapid success of things. But yet God never left me, right? He had done so much for me that I couldn't see. Because I didn't want to see, right? But, but all, all in all, in actuality, whatever you want to state it, um, God was laying a, 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 a roadmap for my, for, for my testimony, right? He was adding chapters to the book so that I could have something of substance to give to the people, right? And, and I know it, that sounds like, uh, well, the testimony could be big or small, it doesn't matter. But for me, it was something different. It was something special. And I know this because God spoke it to me himself when he said that my testimony was shaped nations. Now, I know you might have told many people that there, but for me, it resonated something heavy and it weighed so heavy on, on, on my body, on, on, on this vessel that inhabits my spirit. And I say, well, God, I don't know how I'm, I'm supposed to go out and, and, and give this message because people are not going to believe it. Hell, I didn't even believe it. You know, I, I know what was going on. You know, I, I went from 92 to uh, 2014, 15 whatever, 13, whatever it was, uh, not even knowing that I was walking around um, as, as quote unquote, a ticking time bomb, um, right? Uh, but God did something great and, and, and I know it was nothing short of signs and wonders because as we went along the journey, he was showing me different things 
of what was coming and how he was deflecting and how he's protecting and covering me and how to walk this way because over here is something different. And he was guiding me through, through that process there. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling in my 20s. I don't know nothing to nothing about my life too much. I haven't lived but so long. But I knew that uh, God had something for me. And, and to sit back and reflect on it now, as I'm, as I'm rapidly approaching 30, um, I, I sit back in awe as, as to what God has not only done, but what he showed me that he's going to do and about to do um, and will continue to do. And it, it's, it's nothing short of signs and wonders. I, it's, he gave me the sign. I was, I was wondering, like, how, how I'm supposed to get through this? Like this how it's supposed to work out? Well, well, but what if and, and why? The who, what, when, why, and how? It was there. It was always moving through my mind. But God said, no matter what happens, I got you. He gave me promise. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Ask and it shall be received. Knock and it shall be opened. Right? All these things. Then he said, open your mouth and proclaim it for yourself. So when I begin to proclaim my healing and I begin to, pro to proclaim my testimony for myself, I didn't begin to understand as to why I walked through things the way that I walked through them through that process, right? It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily about enduring the battle, right? It was about the lesson underneath of it all, right? And we, we forget that um, as we go through hard times, we forget that we learn the lesson as we go along the way because we so boggled down with the scars and, and the, the beatings and the brutality of it all. But it, it, in, in, in that space, you're learning, you're learning about the strength that you have. You're learning about uh, your character you're building. You're learning about your, 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 your uh, 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 relationship with, with, with God and, and the maturity uh, within. And all these things are coming about, but you're battling these things. But, but the battle is so bad that your mind gets stuck on that piece. that You get tunnel vision on the battle itself. And you forget to take the lesson, the lesson that comes with it. And I begin to do that. And then God said again, he said again, right? No matter what happens, open your mouth and proclaim it for yourself. Um, so as I'm, I'm, I'm in the mindset, I'm in the posture of proclaiming it for myself. And even as I'm sitting here now in the four, um, um, it, I'm, pro I'm constantly proclaiming what God has spoken to me. And, 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 and then I started to get this space of timidness because I, I proclaimed it for myself. But again, I didn't. But remember, again, I don't believe that the people will understand this. So I'm holding it for myself. I'm, 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 I'm taking it within. I'm just walking around with, with this, 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 this weight on me, this blessing on my back. And I'm, I'm not giving it to the people. Right. I'm not giving it to them. Um, and in that, as I went into prayer um, uh, some time ago, um, I can reflect on that as well. I, I, I begin to realize that I was timid or afraid of my own testimony. I was so scared of it because I didn't know how I was going to be received in the world. I put the world on, on, on a pedestal of, of the thoughts about what was coming about, but I had a smile on my face the whole time telling, telling myself, I'm not worried about what they're saying. But in the, in the same breath, in the undertone, I was so scared that somebody was gonna, was gonna speak something over me or say something about me or use this against me but I, I then begin to realize, like, what am I so scared for? I'm the one that's enduring the fight. I'm the one that's making it through it all. I'm the one that got to the other side. I'm the one that's dealing with this here. And then I forgot that the eye didn't, didn't fit in God. I said, well, God helped me through the fight. God brought me through the fight. God healed me as I walked through. God uh, uh, made sure that I never stumbled and make sure I never fail once I begin to stumble. And I was like, well, dang. I said, now I begin to move myself aside. I, be, I put God back in the forefront of it all. Right. Then I was like, okay, God, now it's time to give this testimony. And when I did it, life in Portrait Fam, it was so, it, it was such an epiphany. It was, like, it was like a chain reaction of sea lot moments. Like, aha, 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 aha. And doors were going to open up for me spiritually that I didn't know could open up. This is in my 20s, you guys. I'm walking through my 20s with this on my back. But all, nonetheless, no matter how much I fought it, God was like, I got this here. He said, I'm going to get you to a place where you're no longer scared to proclaim out of your mouth publicly what you're proclaiming privately, right? Come on now. Come on now. It was, I was just like, oh my God. And, and, and even in that, even in that, I was still learning to open my mouth publicly and proclaim and testify for what God was doing for me. God not only healed my body, right? He healed my mind, right? He, he, he renewed my spirit. And he gave me something that the world couldn't give me. Amen. 
He gave me something that the world could not give me, something I couldn't give myself. Hmm. Couldn't, I couldn't give it to myself. He gave me peace. He gave me peace with what was happening because, I, because now I have an understanding of why I went through it and what was happening to me as I was going through it. Even as I'm sitting this for today, I, guys, I, I literally just finished, I ate breakfast this morning. I prayed and, and I, I came to do my workout. I'm back doing workouts, right, which is nothing short of God uh, that my body has stripped up to actually do a workout, right, to do a single push-up. God gave me the strength to do it. Right, and I, I went to grab the camera and tripod. I'm gonna sit in the floor. I don't leave the space here till God tells me to get up. Right, Look, the tripod was out here. I was eating breakfast. Right, I know I know I was gonna do a video today. I didn't know I didn't know how it was gonna go, but God said to me, do this video in right where you right in the posture where you were as you were doing your workout. But I was like, God, I'm not gonna do the video while I'm working. I said, that's fine. That's fine. To open your mouth and proclaim to the world what I've done for you. Life and poetry, fam, visitors, guests, the like, friends, whoever's watching this video, when you watch it, whatever time, however you choose to watch it, understand this here. God has done, God has done something short of, um, God, God has done something uh, 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 that may, may go against your understanding of the principle of it all or even the, the, the reality of it all. See, I walk in the world, medically speaking, worldly speaking, with HIV, right? But in the spirit of God, I'm healed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, and nothing can take that from me. God gave me that when he said, I gave you life. He said, I gave you life. He said, the blood of my son runs through your veins, and the blood of Jesus runs through my veins. I have to be pure as snow. Amen. It has to be purified, pure as snow, nothing short of it. There's no sickness or disease in the blood of Jesus. Right. So how can I walk around with HIV? God said to me, your vessel may be tainted, but your spirit is, 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 is fresh, is, is fresh and new. I said, God, I said, so that, that means what I, he said. Yes. He said, he said to me, you don't have to finish what you're about to say. That's exactly what it means. Life for your family. I walked through hell to get to where I am today. Right, my twenties were nothing short of ups and downs, twists and turns, but God never left me. He gave me a testimony. I'm gonna continue to give my testimony, even if it falls on deaf ears. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord and what He's done for me. And what He's done for me is nothing short of a miracle. Nothing short of a miracle. And because of that, I sit before you today. I stand before you today, and I proclaim with words from my mouth as they roll off of my tongue. The healing that's within me. The grace and mercy that surround me and the blood of Jesus that runs through my veins. Every scar on my body, most physically, mentally, and spiritually, they, there's, a roadmap, there's a roadmap of a testimony that's to be shared with the world. Amen. I told you, family, um, I want to close off with this here. As you walk through life, you're going to encounter some obstacles. You're going to encounter some hardships, and that's all right. It's all right. It's okay. But if you keep your eyes fixed on him, he will guide you through and you will come out most definitely on the other side, pure as gold. Don't be afraid of testifying to what God has done for you, even if it falls on deaf ears. Open your mouth, proclaim the love of God, proclaim what God has done for you and watch him take you to a new high. Amen. I love you, family. I love you guys so much, guys. Don't get the like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I really pray you got something from this because I know I did. I'm going to go back in prayer as I finish the video. But before I even edit this video, I'm going right back to prayer to give God the thanks what he's done for me on this day. Amen. But as I sit here on this floor, I'm going to give God the thanks what he's done for me and what he will continue to do for me because I know he will. Never leave me nor forsake me. Right? Never leave me nor make me the head and not the tail. Come on now. Come on now. My God. My God, they're opening. Those are opening. Windows are opening. And I'm receiving every ounce of every bit of it with the capacity thereof. My God, I love you guys so much. Thank God for rocking with me and let me rock with y'all for so long. Um, it's been a blessing. It's always a blessing to be with be, be before you all. Um, and I pray again that you got something from this, guys. Please don't please share these videos. Hey, somebody out there need this message. Share this video with, with your friend, with your neighbor, um, whoever it may be, guys. Love on them and love on yourself. I support your family. As always, stay safe, be blessed. Until next time, we out. Peace.